Joining us now is our doctor, Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Good doctor. Good morning, Maggie. Was it surprising to you that someone like Jane Fonda, fitness guru, picture of health, was diagnosed with breast cancer? Well, unfortunately, I think it's never a surprise when we hear the latest person to be diagnosed with breast cancer because the reality is it's a bullet that all women have to dodge. What, what is definitely known is that most breast cancer is diagnosed in older women. It's more common as we age. So 77% of cases are found in women over the age of 50. And when you're talking about the 60s, that decade, your chance of getting diagnosed with breast cancer is 1 in 29, and obviously she's older than that, so her risk right. is higher. And she is yet another example of the value, the, the, the crucialness of early detection, because this was discovered during a routine checkup. Exactly. And, you know, last year we heard a lot of controversy that self-breast exams were not recommended because of the thinking that it caused anxiety. I still recommend that patients understand what their bodies feel like, be familiar with what their breasts feel like, but the, when you look at the general guidelines by the American Cancer Society, they still state that women over the age of 40, 40 and over, should be screened with yearly mammograms. They should have a clinician or a clinical breast exam that's by a physician or healthcare professional every three years when they're in their 20 to 40 years age group and then annually 40 and over. So again, this does speak to the importance of screening and finding something earlier rather than later. Although Maggie, there's a trend in breast cancer in particular that not all breast cancers necessarily need aggressive treatment. Right. Right. We're going to be hearing more about that research in the future. But at this point, when you find something, it's treated. And they found her tumor before it had spread anywhere else. So they exactly. took it out and she's cancer free. Right. Does that mean she's out of the woods? Well, if you find something that's small, that has not spread to the lymph nodes and is a non-aggressive type of breast cancer, you know, the five-year survival approaches 100%. So again, it is at this point better to find an early cancer and treat it. But in the future, we're going to be hearing more and more about maybe cancers that never become aggressive and never need aggressive treatment, at this point she's in such great health that mm -hmm. obviously being cancer free is what anyone would hope for. And I'm sure her perfect health and her fitness will help her as well. It's so important, Maggie. Being in good physical condition will help you when you're diagnosed with exactly. any illness. Cancer is no different. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you very you bet, much. Maggie.